Yo, this your boy T. James, and I'm kicking it with my girl Brittany, and we on Global Grind out here in L.A., showing love, dropping jewels, staying happy, man. Bless, peace, and love, baby. Trinidad James. Hey, what's up, world? It's your girl, Brittany, and I'm out here in Hollywood, California with my guy, Trinidad James. How are you, babe? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I'm just enjoying these California sun rays, these palm trees, you know what I'm saying, the vibes. No, nah, the weather out here is amazing all the time. So, obviously, Just a Little Thick, She Juicy is obviously inspired by thicker women. But what actually made you want to record a record about it? I mean, why not? I'm, I'm an underdog king, and I, I just feel like if everybody talking about one thing, then I want to talk about something else. You know, if everybody glorifying uh, this certain particular type of woman that everybody in the industry per se is into, then all right, cool. Have fun with that. I'm going to talk about these women who are not getting the love that they deserve also. Yeah, and then plus it's too, like, everybody wants to feel appreciated and loved, right? So that this record is, like, paying homage to people who might not be a size 6 or a size 4 or, you know, thin waist with a big butt you know everybody can't have it exactly the way the coke bottle is but it's great that just a little thick is kind of paying them homage i feel like women are so hard on themselves even slim women like oh i feel fat i feel fat and it's like you know what man just be great just be happy with how god made you and enjoy yourself have a good time celebrate your body have fun with your body and you don't need to alter your body to impress nobody to be honest with you, because any man that wants you to alter himself to be with you, he's a waste of time, to be honest with you. You know, any man that really appreciates you, he's going to appreciate you the way God made you. But if you show up to his doorstep or you show up in the club and you're altered, then it's a high possibility he'll leave you for just another altered female because anybody could oh, fix anything that's wrong with him. But what is that for? Like, be happy with who you are. There's somebody out there for everybody. Um, okay, so let's talk about what else you've been working on, because I know you have multiple businesses and kind of ventures that you're working on, so tell me about that. Um, I just finished up my second annual cha charity out here in L.A. It's called Camp James. We did that. We did it at Crenshaw High School again. Um, really nice turnout. I think this time we raised about 200 pairs of sneakers to give back out to the homeless on Skid Row out here in L.A. Um, it was beautiful. I did it last year. It was amazing. This year we had some dope artists come through. Wiz Khalifa came through. Nipsey Hussle came through again. Um, Sauce Twins, um, one of the artists from the Sauce Twins came through. Um, it was beautiful. Problem, he played in the game. Um, I played myself again this year. It was fun. The community definitely came out and supported. The kids had a good time. We had a football program in the morning. It was wonderful, man. It, it, it's beautiful to do things for the community, and everybody gets a part. Um, my guy from Atlanta, YFN Lucci, he performed. He did this thing. The people appreciated it. It was a good look for him because he's new on the West Coast. And, and that's what my program is all about. It allows everybody to win. I, I don't charge you to come in. You just have to bring a pair of sneakers to get in. So I'm not taking your money. I, I spend my own money on the event. Um, artists come out, and, and, and sometimes, you know, a lot of uh, artists are, are great people. Artists are people. And I feel a lot of people get forget that at the end of the day. Like, artists are not bad people. They're just surrounded by bad energy, and they don't know how to act in the midst of all this energy. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if to be cool, if to shake this person's hand, if to take this picture, or should I be stiff all the time because this person pissed me off when I took this picture. You know, and, and it's tough out here. Everybody can't take the pressures of being famous. Yeah. And that's just the reality of it. And I feel that the one of the reasons and one of one of the good things about my charities and the events that I try and do, I try and make it comfortable for you to be who you are and be famous. Because I allow people to respect you as an artist, respect you as a man or woman, yeah. you know, and you could come and showcase your talent and be you, you know, and I, I try to do things that allow people to be them. Like if you like playing basketball, well then come play basketball. Because I know when you're playing basketball, you're not thinking about being famous. You're just playing basketball to get your mind on being famous because a lot of times being famous is the only thing on our mind because we're not doing anything else for our communities for this world, and it's just you get caught up in one thing, being famous. And being famous is overrated. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be famous anyway. You got the name. You got the money. You got way more money than the regular person walking in the street. Who cares about if you ain't famous? You're famous. So be better than famous. Be a real man. And a real man is somebody that recognizes what his community needs or what the people need in general outside of the music and the flexing and the flashing and all that other cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's not cool. Yeah. It's, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's way more to life. After a while, it's like, bro, you're going to flex for 10 years? Yeah. You're going to flex for 15 years? You're going to flex for 20 years? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's put your charities in the forefront. Not to say that these brothers are not doing good things for their community, but it's like you're not showing it. So the, the youth don't have nothing to look up to other than you're flexing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I like to put my charities in the forefront and try not to flex less, to be honest with you. I don't flash money or random things that not it's not helping me flashing my jewelry right. on instagram <laughs> does not help an eighth grader that's going into high school the most four pivotal years of his life yeah. that's going to do nothing but get him beat up get him put in jail for trying to be me well you're not going to have a twenty thousand dollar chain in high school that doesn't you know it's not it's, it's not it's not really making sense you know and if your parents are buy your twenty thousand dollar chain in high school that's weird yeah I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not taking it from you, but that's weird because there's so many other things that you should be learning. I wish I had learned these things when I was in high school. I didn't. I didn't know any better. So that's why I try to do the things that I had nobody to show me at a younger age to the younger people so they'll know to do better. So what I, what I plan to do is let Just a Little Thick become a number one record on the charts. It's moved up to number 15. I feel like it'll be number 10 in the next two to three weeks, top 10 record on Rhythmic Radio. Um, move up the charts on urban radio, let it smash the summer, do what it's going to do, you know what I'm saying, thank the big man upstairs for that, smash the game with more visuals, because I have some crazy visuals in the tank that I've already shot, and they're just getting edited right now, shoot more crazy visuals and release those, um, drop an EP for the fall, to, um, for back to school, God willing, and um, you know, use that once all those things are out, Use that time. I got one more charity event to try and accomplish in Atlanta. That should be really awesome because I haven't been able to do this magnitude of charity in Atlanta. So it's going to be dope to bring what I'm doing in L.A. to Atlanta. They're going to really appreciate it back in the hood where I'm from. And so I'm looking forward to that. And um, then, you know, just get ready to lock in and work on just an amazing album that I already have music for. But to actually lock into it with the producers who I really value and want to work with. You know, and put together a masterpiece, you know. A lot of people don't know what to expect from me. Some people count me out because they just do, you know. But the people who count me out is people who never really took the time to understand what I do. You know, a lot of people judge your success based off of the radio and what the mainstream is saying. But it's way more to life than mainstream. And a lot of people won't understand that and they never will. And I'm not mad at you because that's just what it is. But for me, I know what I'm doing and I must stay focused on my plan, on my path and continue to go down that road yeah well thank you so much i appreciate you for coming to kick it with us she ain't fat, bro. She ain't, she ain't fat, bro.